So what is that like being John? Like, what is that like thinking there isn't another man on the planet that could do anything to you in hand-to-hand -hand combat? If you want to be John Jones, like, good luck. It's a lot of work. But if you get to be John Jones, like, wow. Imagine that feeling. Imagine that feeling of strangling Cyril gone, like, a fucking minute into the fight. And everybody being like, wow, he's the GOAT. That's the it. The man on the planet. He's the GOAT. Yeah, there's no, no one thinks like Tyson Fury can beat John Jones in a fight. Isn't that fucking interesting? No one thinks that. Tyson doesn't think that. You want to talk about who's the baddest man on the planet? If John Jones and Tyson Fury are locked into a room, game over. I'm pushing all my chips on black. John Jones is the GOAT. He's the GOAT. Now, it's undeniable. It's undeniable. There was he, all this debate until yeah. he submitted Cyril Gaon and became the heavyweight champion. No Dude, one can fuck with that. Smashed him, bro. Smashed and him. Cyril looked kind of unbeatable up until the Francis fight. Well, the Francis fight exposed one aspect of his game sure. that you're never going to beat John in, and that's the wrestling. Yeah. And then everybody said, well, he didn't know that Francis was going to wrestle him. Given. Francis is not the caliber of wrestler or even in the realm of John, oh, John Jones. Jones no John Jones has been wrestling since he was 12 years old. He took down Daniel Cormier, who's an Olympic-level yeah. wrestler. Yeah. There is not a guy in the world that can say that you could start wrestling at 29 years old. I mean, I mean, you'd have to be the freakiest of freak athletes to be able to compete with that guy to start wrestling when Cyril Gaon started wrestling. Right. The, 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 the gap is just too wide to cross. Right. Right. If you're not doing anything, like if you're not taking anything, then your recovery from like really heavy power lifts mm -hmm. is kind of significant. Didn't he lift like 600 pounds or something? Oh my god, he's strong, like he's strong as fuck. <laughs> he's strong as fuck. He looks very big now. Like, he looks like a heavyweight. Mm -hmm. But I just wonder, how much weightlifting do you have to do to maintain that frame? Yeah. You know? Well, he was strong. He was When we strong. fought, he was strong. Like, he was yeah. strong. Leverage. Great with his leverage. Dude, the, the way he was able to manipulate positions, because I thought, without a shadow of a doubt, that I would take him down at will. But it's hard. Even if you get a takedown, it's hard against the best guys. So when you're fighting guys like Jones, he's so tall, he's so rangy, and he just understood fighting. The guy just understands fighting. Mm. And it makes him hard to deal with. And then, Joe, when you get in a clinch with this dude, he's so tall that it's almost like you're holding him up if you're the shorter fighter. He's like draping over the top of you. And that is what fatigues you. Because when I'm clinching, you know, I fought there a ton. Like, just in the clinch, punch, punch, punch. I'm trying to break your posture. He doesn't do that. He pushes you against the octagon, and then he leans. So now you're carrying 220 with your weight up against the octagon, and it's like, and then he's changing level, and he's spinning, trying to elbow you. He, the dude just understands fighting and understands how to maneuver his body mm. to fatigue you. It's crazy. We're just talking tonight. These kids that come in here that are undefeated, you know how hard it is to stay undefeated? John Jones went through murderer's row. When you talk about activity, um, and he's fought one time, but John Jones was supposed to fight. If John Jones was sitting on the couch and saying, yeah, I don't know when I'm going to fight again, then he's definitely not in the pound for pound discussion right now. He was, he was scheduled to fight, and he got injured. He is an active fighter. John Jones has fought everybody that's ever been put in front of him. He went through murderer's row, uh, you know, and if you look at who he fought at the time when he fought them, look at the record of the guys combined that he fought. And the list just goes on and on. It's not like John Jones was not active and was not accepting fights. And I also believe, because I know how John Jones is, John Jones fights and beats Stipe. If he wins, I think he fights Aspinall.